Welcome to another episode of Junior's World of Soul. I am back with a new video. As y'all can see, I came in with Tory Lanez and I came in with his joint Talk To Me. Actually, this is the remix, actually, with Lil Wayne and all that good stuff. But I know y'all probably bugging because y'all like, JR, you really came in with a Tory Lanez joint. I talked about Tory Lanez on the show before. You know what I'm saying? I definitely, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit up there and not talk about the new music you gotta you gotta adapt to it you gotta accept it but i came in with this song because my mom played this song last weekend like crazy she loved this song and she played it like crazy and i was like you know what i opened it up you know what i'm saying because i went home for my mom's birthday it was her uh her birthday and uh, I went home, chilled out with her or whatever, and she just kept playing this song. And I was like, Ma, this song is so old. I was like, you lay on it. And she was like, but I like it. And she just started singing. So I was like, you know what? I opened a new video. You know what I'm saying? Since I haven't given y'all a current R&B banger video in like two weeks. So, y'all know what this is about. This is about current R&B bangers. Now, if you're new to Junior's World of Soul, current R&B bangers is all about you know, giving artists, uh, R&B artists, a platform so their music can be heard. Y'all know right now, R&B is really at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to music um, getting that shine. So I felt like me as an R&B lover, I was like, you know what? I am going to create something every week where I give four to five joints where I talk about where, you know, people just don't get shine, you know? You're on the radio, they playing the same artists all the time. And like my mom said with this record, with Talk To Me Baby, she was like, I hear this all day on Power 105. She was like, they play this three, four times an hour, she said. And I was like, wow. And that just goes to show where current R&B bangers is definitely needed. So y'all, I am so happy to get in, into this because like I said, I haven't given y'all current R&B bangers in like two, three weeks. So I'm ready to get into this. I got four dope joints for y'all this week. So I'm ready to get this started. So let's start it off with my girl, my girl who I have been talking about so much. I don't know why it took me forever to talk about her, but I'm glad it doesn't even matter. I am talking about my girl, Emily King. Like this, she is so dope, you know what I'm saying? And like last year, like I talked about her a lot because she came in, she came with a record that was like an anthem for me in last year and it like hit home and I love this record and I think y'all can definitely hear it in the background cause she kills it. Oh my God, this song is dope. But watch it come in, uh. love that record like that record is an anthem yo like for real i need to see emily live like i need to really see her live because she is dope and what i love about uh emily king and her music is her background vocals i'm a lover when it comes to background vocals because i feel like background vocals makes the record it makes the song and you have dope backgrounds just ask luther luther and shaka khan they have the best background vocalists like it's so dope when you listen to their songs and it's just like their background vocalists is everything and i think emily she gives me that and like her album the distance the switch i keep calling it the distance it's the switch and um you know songs like the distance and off uh was it off corner and um, um, Off The Clouds. Like, if you listen to these songs, they have so, they background vocals on this is everything. And just like this song right here, like, look at me now, like, this song right here has an amazing background vocals. Like, I really need to see her live. That's how dope she is. But, um, you know, also the last current R&B bangers that I talked about, she came, um, she released the song before she released her new album. She came out with another anthem. It's called Can't Hold Me. And that song I talked about, which is dope. It's so smooth. Like, I just love Emily's jazz flavor. Like, you can tell, like, jazz is a big part of her musical influence because it's all in her music. And um, 
You know, so finally she came out with her new album. It was entitled uh, Scenery. And oh my God, like, I was heading home Friday and I was just listening to it in the car and it's just so smooth. Like, Scenery, I was going crazy. Of course, with this song, Look At Me Now, uh, Can't Hold Me, Remind Me, um, Forgiveness. Forgiveness, I was playing over and over again because that song is so truthful about forgiving somebody and you need to really forgive, you know what I mean? Blue Light, that joint is dope to me. Um, what else? Uh, I forgot. Dang, it's so many songs. Uh, is it Two Guests? I think that's the last song, if I'm not mistaken. But, yo, the album is dope. I'm still listening to it. It's good music. It's just like a vibe. Her album is a vibe. You know what I'm saying? But the song that I have to talk about, this song is entitled Running. This song, y'all, I went crazy on. And I was like, when I talk about current R&B bangers, I have to talk about this record. This record, Running, is everything, y'all. Like, I literally listened to that song like 10 times before I finally went to the next track. And that's when I knew that this song, it was like the background vocals, just the, the message of the song. Like, you can't keep running away from something that you did. And it's just an amazing, amazing record. And I was like, on the next current R&B bangers, I'm going to talk about it. And uh, this song is amazing. And uh, here we go. So here is Running. And y'all just get into it. Like I said, it's a vibe. Like, just get into it. So here we go. just a vibe yo like it's not no extra stuff it's just a vibe it's just her vocals and the piano like it can't get no better than that and it sounds so good like she like I can't stop running woo like woo come on man I even felt that and I actually was on key and it sounded really good so you can't hate on me but listen this song I literally kept listening to and listening to and listening to. Like I said, I feel like Emily is having like anthems for me. You know what I'm saying? First she did Look At Me Now, then she get Can't Hold Me, and now she got Running. I'm like, this girl, she can make some anthems, I'm telling you, but like I need to see her live. But listen, y'all, check out her new album. It's entitled Scenery. It's Survive. I will my, go get you a glass of wine and just chill and just listen to her music because that's how dope this album is. Like, I love how people be like a mood or a vibe. Like, that's the new thing now. Like, this album is literally a vibe. So I really recommend y'all go listen to it. And really, really, I want this girl to blow because that's how dope she is. Like, she's that dope. So the first joint on current R&B bangers is entitled Run It, and that's from Emily King. Woo! Alrighty, alrighty. So let's get into this next artist here. Now, this next artist who I talked about maybe about three, maybe three current R&B bangers videos ago. And I'm talking about Lucky Day. And Lucky Day, I am such a fan of him and I'm such a fan of his story and I'm a fan of his artistry. And, um, you know, his story is, you know, he was um, raised in New Orleans and, um, you know, uh, you know, he was, his family's very religious and uh, he couldn't listen to, you know, um, nothing but gospel music and he felt like it was a cult for him and finally when he got out of it he just threw everything and put all his all into music and um, he said when he heard Prince and he heard Lauryn Hill and he heard D'Angelo which right then and there that's artistry like Prince Lauren and D'Angelo, they are artists. Like, that's just the truth. They're just artists. And when you listen to their bodies of work, you can tell they are really artists. Like, they really they really work on their craft. And for him to really be influenced by them makes a lot of sense. So, you know, so when I was introduced, first of all, I love when I 
read or listen to interviews where the artist is talking about themselves and you can really know their story so you can see where they at artistically. And I think Lucky Day is so dope as an artist and I feel the truth from him. So, you know, then, um, you know, then I was like, I'm going to listen to his album because I heard Extra. This is the song that's playing off his EP entitled, uh, I? Yes, it's entitled I. And, um, and, um, you know, it just, this song gave me Prince vibes. And I was like, yo, and to see he's influenced by that, like, was dope. So I really talked about him on Current Army Bangers. Um, like, Extra and uh, Roll Some More, dope, dope joints. And like I said, I talked about him on Current Army Bangers. I'll put in the more info box so y'all can check it out. But, um, you know, maybe about two weeks ago, he released a new song. Because one thing about him, I, when I was reading his interview, he was talking about, yo, I'm going to um, release music because I just want to give the music out. You know what I'm saying? Like, him and Dean Mile. Dean Mile is a great producer. He did, um, what did he do for Mary? He did uh, In the Morning for Mary, if I'm not mistaken, or for Stronger with East Tier album. And, like, he's dope to me. And them two really work together. And I just like the vibes that they give him. You know what I'm saying? So when um, he came out with a new record, I saw that the producer was d Mile, And I was like, oh, and I like it. And I was like, yo, this joint is dope. The, jo uh, the song is titled Karma. And let me tell you something. Like, Karma is a dope, dope record. Like, it is dope. I was like, yo, he did that on this. I don't know why I didn't have this as a part of my playlist, y'all. But y'all know how we do all current R&B bangers. So give me a second. Let me uh, put this into so I can actually pull up the song. I'm so mad that I didn't add it to the playlist. I don't know why I didn't. But um, so hold on for one second. Okay. So the song is entitled Karma. Again. And um, I love it. I love the vibe. I love everything about it. Um, again, it gives you... Not again, but it gives you pony vibes. Like, it gives you the melody of Genuine's pony. But I like it. It's a dope record. And here's the second joint on current R&B bangers. She was Y'all can hear that, what you call it, in the background. You can hear that pony type of melody in the background. I think it's just dope. And then he adds the new style to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell this dude is a real artist. And that's what I really, really enjoy about this joint. But, which is crazy, because today, while I'm getting ready for current R&B bangers, this dude brings out his new EP. And he entitles it to, or double I, or whatever, however he want to do it. But he brought out his new um, EP, and, it, uh, and I like it. Misunderstood, the last song on that album, very emotional. You can feel it. You can, like, really feel where he's coming from. And Real Games, I love that song, too. But Misunderstood was the one. And Karma is also on that record, too. So I really, really advise y'all to check out Lucky Day. He's a dope artist. You know what I'm saying? Hello, when you uh, was inspired by Prince and you was inspired by, you know, Lauryn Hill and D'Angelo, you can't get no better than that. Like, this dude is dope. But I had to talk about Karma because this joint is dope. It has that new school vibe, but it still got something real classic about it. Just make you just... Nice little two-step, you know what I mean? So that's the second joint of current R&B bangers that is Lucky Day with Karma. All right, we're going to pause that for a second. Y'all like y'all know how I like to do. I like to do an, uh, uh, a commercial on each just to, you know what I'm saying, add something new to current R&B bangers. So this commercial, this commercial here... It's actually something that I brought from Mexico. Uh, not Mexico. Lord, and they will laugh when they hear me say that because I said it while we was in Jamaica. Jamaica. This rum right here is entitled um, Ray and Nephew. And this is the rum that I was drinking the whole time. As y'all can see, I'm all Jamaica out. Like, I got my Bob Molly shirt. You know what I'm saying? That deals with music when you... 
when it hits, you feel the pain. When good music hits, you feel the pain. Like I, I had to buy it. Like I had to. But this rum right here, yo, I was drinking the whole time, and it's so good. Like sometimes I ain't even need to. Sh I ain't even need no chaser with it. I was just like, give me a rum. You know what I'm saying? Because the all inclusive spot we were staying at. You know what I mean? It was you know free drinks. I mean hell, I paid for it. But yo, what made me so mad is when I went home. Y'all, I went home and I found this uh, at a liquor store at my mom's house. And I said, wait a minute. So you telling me I could have got this at home? Jamaica, y'all played me. But it's all good. But Ray and Nephew, definitely a good rum. Y'all should definitely try. And I recommend it. So that's the commercial for this. And we're going to get back to current RB Bangers. All right. <laughs> so this artist... This artist, I was actually introduced to that he actually sent me a DM. He actually sent me a DM. And I have no problem with that. Send me your music. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, hey. They want to come in already, but it's all good. But um, uh, his name is Noel DaCosta. And uh, he's from London, that UK soul. And of course, me, before... You give me your music and all that. I want to know about, you know, I want to do my research on you and see, you know, where you come from, what's your background and things like that. So when I read his story, he said, you know, when he was um, actually, when he was uh, winning all his contests and things like that, they used to, they dubbed him as the young Luther. So right then and there, I was like, because y'all, listen, Luther is one of my favorite male singers of all time. So when you are dubbed as the young Luther, I was like, okay, all righty. So then, of course, I did more research, and he was also in a group called Abyss, and he was a part of that group. And, um, you know, he did a lot of songwriting and, and things like that. And then, of course me, you know, really, really doing my research on him, I was like, I need to find out, like, his style, so he does reggae, he does, um, of course, uh, soul, R&B, and that's kind of his core, the soul and R&B, you know what I'm saying, so, of course, me continuing to do more research, I found a video of him doing Sam Cooke twisting the night away at a private party, and I said, wait a minute, because, let me tell you something, when you're going to do Sam Cooke, you're going to do it. And let me tell you something, I was so impressed at the way he did it because he didn't try to do it like Sam, but he still gave you Sam's flavor, and that's what I liked. You know what I'm saying? And I said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm broad. You know what I'm saying? He got me. You know what I'm saying? So now, let me check out his music. So he gave me a song entitled No Kind of Love, No Kind of Love. And I was like, I like this. I like it. It's really, really smooth. So I was like, well, let me check out his album. And his album is entitled The Soul Man from the Ends. That's his um, his album is called. It's on Spotify. You know, I'm going to put all his information in more info box. But then I started going through his album. And Strong Minded Lady, I love. Um, Not Tonight is what you hear in the background. Give you a little nice, little smooth vibe to it. And then uh, let, uh, Love to Know. That has like the reggae vibe that, you know, he definitely gives you. You know what I'm saying? But there was one song, because I know, I know Noel wanted me to talk about No Kind of Love. But I'm sorry. I have to talk about this song. It's entitled Give Her What She Wants. I kept playing that song over and over, and I was like, this is the one. But what's so crazy about this is that this songs and this album is actually three years old. It came out in 2015. But it does not matter, like my brother Sin said, good music, it doesn't matter when you get it. When It doesn't matter, because if it's good, it's good. And let me tell you something, I would definitely recommend y'all really listen to this brother, like for real. But again, I'm going to put all his information in the more info boxes. Let me tell you something. This song, Give Give her what she wants. It's house. It makes you want to dance. Like, it's a... And it has a new flavor. Like, the new school flavor to it. And I was like, I like it. So, I was like, I'm going to talk about this record. And I think y'all going to enjoy it. The joint goes so hard. I love it. And again, it's entitled Give Her What She Wants. And I hope y'all just ready to groove because this song goes in. So, here we go. Hold on. No, no, no. I want to go back a little bit. Here we go. 
It's a dope joint, like you can't help but to move with it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I really enjoyed about the record. And I was like, yo, I know he sent me no kind of love, but I'm sorry. I had to talk about giving what she wants because it made me want to move. And I was playing it at work and I forgot. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm at work. I can't be doing all this at work. I'm bugging. So I'm sorry, but y'all, really, I need y'all to check out Noel Da Costa. This dude is dope. He's from the UK. I'm gonna put all his information, his Instagram, his Twitter, um, and check uh, again. Check out, um, shoot, what I'm saying. Check out the the Soul Man from the Ends. Like, really check out the album. I just like his sound. I like his flavor. Now, listen. I'm gonna need some more music, Noel. Like, give me some more music. I need some current music. I know I'm still on this album, but. I need some current, you know what I'm saying? But give her what she wants, that joint is it, like for real. So y'all, like I said, I'm going to put all the Noel's information in the more info box. I definitely want y'all to check him out because the dude is dope and he definitely deserves some shine. Alrighty, so we are at the last, last artist, man. And this is my boy because I talked about him so much on current R&B bangers. And um, he is just dope. I like, like musically, I... Like, he's my guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can hear this in the background. It was actually one of my favorite songs of um, 2018. And uh, this joint is uh, He Who Leadeth Me. And like, you know, for me, Tavius is one of the, re Tavius Soul is one of the reasons why I love SoundCloud. Because SoundCloud people is just able to put up their music. It does not even matter. You know, it's no politics that go along with it, even though they're going to start. And it's going to really make me mad because it's going to lose that rawness that this music now is seem to be missing the rawness and sincerity of it. But to find him, like, we need things like SoundCloud. So when I heard, because I was actually introduced to um, Tavius by his um, song, uh, LOL. Uh, love over lust. Yes, that's how I was introduced to him. And, um, you know, I was like, yo, when I listen to his songs and listen to his music, like, he who needed me. Like, with this song, it feels so freeing. That's what's so so dope about his music. It feels freeing. And that's what I really, really enjoy about his music. So, um, maybe about three months ago, he released a new, um, a new album entitled uh, Nobody Is Somebody. Like, his music is very spiritual, it's very free, and it definitely has a message in it. And that's what I really like. But you could tell with him making the music, he's having a good time making it. You know what I mean? You could just feel it. And the musicality of him. Like, when you listen to this, like, I'm going to put, like, all his information on his SoundCloud so y'all can check him out because musically he's just dope and I like because he can also spit and he can also sing but he also put that dope instrumentation in it as far as his production and that's what I really like about him you know what I mean but um maybe about a week ago I see that he had a new song out and I was like okay okay let, let's see what this is about and the song is entitled uh, Moon Pulls and at first, I was like, okay, what, what is my boy Tavius going to talk about? What's he going to talk about? And to be honest, like, I love the record. And y'all going to get a good sample of this because I want y'all to really get into this song. Like, it's that dope. So just listen. Here we go. Moonshine on my eyes. Well, I'll be waiting in the sand. Ah, 
Like, like, I love that. Like, I love the record. It's so freeing. Like, you know what I mean? And it's a message in it. Like, it really, really is. And that's what I love about Tavia's soul. Like, that's, like, he really, like, his name just speaks for itself. You know what I mean? And I want him to get so much shine, man. Because that's why I love talking about him on current R&B bangers. He's another that I talked about maybe about four or five times on current R&B bangers. Because he makes good music. You know what I'm saying? And you can tell when you listen to his music, the love he puts in it. You can feel it. For me, y'all know by now, I'm an emotional listener. Like, I want to connect to the record. And I just, even though I might be grooving and I might be dancing, I'm still connecting to the record. And that's how dope this song is, yo. So, definitely, I want y'all to check my boy out, uh, Tavia Soul. Uh, this song is called... Um, Moon pulls, and like I said, his his music is so freeing. But all his music comes on SoundCloud. I'm gonna put all his information, his Instagram, and his SoundCloud. So I want y'all to check him out. And that's the last joint on current R&B bangers that is coming from Tavius Soul. Well, all right, y'all. We are at the end of current R&B bangers. Uh, the four joints that I gave y'all this week is from Emily King. It was running. Uh, Lucky Day with Karma. Uh, Noel uh, DaCosta, DaCosta or DaCosta, however you pronounce it, uh, give her what she wants, and Tavia Soul with Moon Pulls. Like, y'all, come on. I'm letting y'all know right then and there. I'm continuing to prove that R&B is alive and well. Do not believe what mainstream type to tell y'all because it's not true. It's just we don't have a lot of outlets out there. But believe me, R&B is alive and well and it's kicking. Do not let the mainstream world fool you. That's why I do current R&B bangers every week. But listen, if you enjoy the video, like it, share it. Um, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? We're building, which is unbelievable. I'm so happy people are enjoying current RB bangers and flashback Fridays and my songs of the week. Like, I'm really, really happy. So, if you really enjoy this type of stuff, please share it. Send it to somebody else that you know and like it. And comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. You know what I mean? I really want to hear from you guys. So, um, since this is the talk of the town, and I might do a video for it, so watch out for it. Um, this is actually, I'm going to go out with um, a song that was number one. No, it actually wasn't number one. It was actually released um, this time in 1965. Actually, January the 11th, 1965, this song was released and it became a number one for the Supremes. And uh, I figured I'd go out with this song because it just goes to show, you know, Motown is the talk of the town right now because of the situation with J-Lo being a part of the Motown tribute. But wait for my next video because I'm going to talk about that. You know what I mean? Because y'all know I love Motown. So I figured I'd go out with a song from the Supremes and why not go out with this? Love is here. See y'all next week.